Portland police are speaking out about the murders of two women and an attempted attack on another on the city's east side. Chief Michael McGrath just wrapped up a news conference. They say that while the crimes all happened within a three-mile radius, they are not connected. News Channel 5's Michael Baldwin was at the conference. He has more details. Well, Dina, the chief said that there are two people being held for questioning in the East 116th attack, not just one, but he said they're being held on unrelated charges. Now, as far as the murders are concerned, uh, Jerome Ogletree is still in jail, being held in jail, but has not been charged. The police warrant issued on April 2nd said he beat and strangled Jasmine Trotta. Chief Michael McGrath said officers connected Ogletree to Trotta's murder through DNA because Trotta was sexually assaulted. And he is urging people in any of these attacks, if you know anything to please come forward. I would say that we are out there with them and we'll do everything in our power to provide safety and security to them. But also if they see something to say something, if they see something that's out there that's suspicious to call us. If they see an individual drive by once, twice, three times, there's a problem there, write the license number down for us and just pass it along. Now, today we learned that Ogletree and Trotta did work at the same temp agency in Solon, but the chief said that doesn't mean that they knew each other. Now, coming up tonight at 6, we'll have more on the Malone murder, as well as the Good Samaritans, why they still want them to come forward, and they were involved in saving their woman on East 116th Street. We're live here in Cleveland. I'm Michael Baldwin, News Channel 5.